It is Haunted Virginia Week here on Daytime when we take a look at some of the scariest true crime stories from around our region. Back with us now to tell us another haunting tale is Tom Perry, author of Murder in a Rearview Mirror, Stories of True Crime. And this time, Tom, we want to talk about something that happened in Martinsville back in the 1880s. It's the shootout on Fayette Street. Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, uh, this one's a little different. This is two families feuding. This isn't the Hatfields and the McCoys. I was going to say, is it the Hatfields and the McCoys? No, it's, uh, this is the Spencers and the Terrys. Okay. If, you, uh, if you've ever been to Henry County, you know there's uh, Spencer Penn. That's the Spencer family. And okay. the Terrys lived at a place called Aiken Summit, which is kind of on the other end of the county. Well, this started because of a vote of the city council. The city council voted uh, against two fertilizer salesmen. Don't ask me how these things come about. <laughs> Uh, and William Terry, the lawyer, put a circular out or article in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. And in that, uh, he, uh, he criticizes uh, the Terry family. The Terry family respond by doing their own circular and they go after the, the Spencer family. And back and forth it goes for a few days. Well, uh, the Spencers were tobacco. They had tobacco factory downtown in Martinsville and Fayette Street very close to the old courthouse, which is still there. It's a historic museum now. Well, the Terrys show up as the Spencers are leaving one night in 1886 from the factory, mm -hmm. and uh, words are exchanged, and next thing you know, gunfire opens up, and almost all the Terry brothers are killed or wounded. Whoa. Several of the Spencers are hurt. There are people who will die years later from their wounds in, in this thing, and it happened there on Martinsville right on the street. Uh, it's a few years after the tombstone and the OK Corral, uh -huh. but this uh, this happened right on the streets of Martinsville, and uh, ended up getting one of those true crime magazines where they turn it into a, a a romance between Romeo and Juliet between one of the Spencer girls and the Terry guys uh -huh. and all that sort of thing, which really wasn't true. It wasn't true. It okay. wasn't true. But mm. of course, that that never stopped a you know a true crime magazine right, writing right. a story. <laughs> And uh, this thing, uh, locally this thing is well known, but it's not known outside, uh, I don't think, Martinsville. Mm -hmm. uh, but it happened right there on the streets, almost in sight of the courthouse. Wow. So uh, is it like the Hillsville Courthouse shooting, like the family still, you know, don't really talk about it? Is it still, is it kind of like that? Yes, it is like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, the Terry family, it may have just about you know, ruined them because there were none left. There was none of really? all, almost all the men died because of this. And the women uh, lived uh, at the house and became very kind of shut-ins, I think. Mm -hmm. There's some truth to that. One of the guys involved with this ended up, I think his name was William Dyer, ended up being the police chief in Roanoke later. Really? And he came up here and he wrote about this. Okay. He, he wrote a little a book about this. But it's one of those things, you know, the Hatfields and McCoys get so blown out of proportion mm -hmm. that there were other feuds and families who really had much more uh, deadly uh, activity between themselves yeah. then, and the Hatfields and McCoys was spread out over so many years but this happened within a very short time right on the streets of Martinsville. That is <laughs> unbelievable. Okay so that tale and many many more are in the book and you're going to do a book signing coming up December 1st at the uh, Berglund Center and December 15th at Salem Civic Center. Of course people can find you on freestateofpatrick.com. Thank you so much Tom. Thank you.